Luke chapter 22, verse 31. Simon, Simon, behold, Satan demanded to have you, that he might sift you like wheat. Have you ever wondered why is it that you go through so much? Why is it that your trials seem to be more intense than others around you? Have you ever wondered why it is that it seems as if trouble is attracted to you? Why do those persons fight you? Have you ever noticed it's only people at a certain level of authority and positioning that seem to attack you? Why? Well, I've come to recognize that the greater the level of your anointing, the more intense your fight is. I can tell the level of your anointing by the persons, the authority levels that attack you. I can tell the level of your anointing by the types of fight that you go through even when you don't seem to be doing anything. Because the enemy recognizes the anointing on your life. And he sends a fight that will equate with what you carry on your life. He will not be sending a lightweight to fight a heavyweight. He is too smart and subtle for that. Did you notice Jesus? They were trying to kill him from he was a baby. When his ministry started, he had 40 days and night of testing, 40 days and night, consecutive days and night of testing, of temptation, of trials. Before he had his first convert, before he called his first disciple, before he worked his first miracle. The enemy is not waiting to see your works. He operates in the spirit realm and can identify your anointing. And the greater your anointing, the greater your fight will be. The greater the level of your anointing, the greater the level of principalities and powers that will come against you. The greater the level of your anointing, the greater there will be a conglomeration of opposing forces to stop you. So stop being distressed about the level of your fight, the level at which your fight comes, and start recognizing it as an acknowledgement from Satan, an acknowledgement by the opposing forces that you are not ordinary, that you are blessed and highly favored that the anointing on your life is great. And because the anointing is so great, they have to come with all they have. But remember this, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Remember this, when thou passest through the waters, he will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. Through the fire you shall not be burnt, neither shall the flames be kindled upon thee. 
You are blessed. You are protected. Stand in God. And when the enemy comes in like a flood, God will lift up a standard against them. Send them fleeing before you. They came before you or came against you one way and shall flee before you seven ways. Be strong and very courageous for God is with you. God bless you. Like, share, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And for more, join us at 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings at 10 Union Square, Crossroads. If you can't be there in person, join us virtually via Facebook Live.